During its last weekend in Ontario, the Nissan Micra Cup aimed high by taking part in the biggest event of the season at the Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. Tens of thousands of fans, numerous activities, the unveiling of the Titan Hauler XD project vehicle, and the attendance of Nissan Canada's president were only a few of the weekend's highlights. I was really impressed by the uh, professionalism uh, of the teams, uh, all the organization, the uh, engagement uh, of all the people participating in racing, uh, preparing, fixing the cars. Uh, so uh, this uh, family spirit was uh, uh, really something that you cannot imagine before living it. Also, as a part of its community engagement, the Nissan Micra Cup, in collaboration with Project Erase, invited an off-duty officer from the provincial police to drive one of the vehicles. An excellent way to promote this project that aims to fight street racing in Ontario. To be here, show them that there is an alternative, and a safe alternative, and not only a safe one, but a fun one and challenging. They would, uh, if we can get some people to try this instead of street racing, they'd find it way more challenging. I think they would find it more fun as well. The Nissan Micra Cup has become one of the most popular series in Canada. In fact, professional driver Lindsay Rice contacted the organizers directly, asking for an opportunity to learn about the series from behind the scenes. You're taking the ultimate line around the track with the momentum car. You know, in, in my 911, you you can do a little more of a, sh a sharper turn and use the horsepower to get out. Um, so it's, it's grounding me. And when I get back into my other car, I think it's really going to give me that upper hand. On Saturday, Olivier Bedard, who started in pole position, and his teammate from Albi Nissan, Xavier Coupal, battled for first place. Around them, many exciting developments kept the fans on the edge of their seats right until the last lap. It is also worth noting that rookie Stefan Gauthier from the Sorel Tracy Nissan team and Ontarian Brian Maxson from Guelph Waterloo Nissan finished in fourth and fifth, making their best performance in the series to date. Over 30 passing maneuvers were executed during the race on Sunday. Olivier Bedard quickly took the lead after a minor collision between Nismo GT Academy driver Nick Hammond and Xavier Coupa. Aaron Povolado from the total team, Stefan Radzinski, Valéry Limoges from H. Grégoire Nissan, and Kevin King from Sorel Tracy Nissan were competing for the podium. However, Alberton Radzinski, sporting the tire land colors, made a spectacular recovery during the final two laps, securing his second victory of the season. After finishing second twice during the weekend, Olivier Bidard is now leading the championship race with only four points ahead of Xavier Coupa. The championship race will take place during the next and final race weekend of the season from September 23rd to 25th in Montreblanc.